Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be teaching you how to create a seamless transition post for your Instagram. It's a really simple way of adding depth to your posts and keeps the audience really engaged. It only takes about two minutes to do and we're just gonna be using Lightroom and Photoshop. So open up Lightroom and let's get into it. Okay, so once you have your image selected out, make sure to start with that it is a landscape image. If it's a portrait, we just need to scale that down. Come up to the crop tool here and you just wanna enter in a custom amount. Now, depending on how many slides you are wanting in your carousel post, uh, times the original width aspect ratio by two or three slides. So the initial ratio is four by five. So we just wanna change the width, which is four. So if we wanna do three slides, you enter in 12, 16, 20, and keep going upwards until you figure out how many slides you wanna cut it across. The general gist of what most people do are just two or three. Um, not many people go over multiple slides unless they're doing like some sort of collage. This aspect, we're just gonna do eight, uh, eight by five. Um, this one never changes, the height never changes. Always leave that at five. Now that's gonna give us a crop like this. I'm just gonna just crop it down a little bit more. Change it over, hit done. Uh, right click on your mouse or double click for a Mac depending on how you've set it up and come up to edit in Photoshop. Okay, so now we've got the image in Photoshop. What you wanna firstly do is come up to the view, come down to new guide layout, and mine's already pre-selected, but just change the number of columns depending on how many slides you initially wanted. We just did two, but if you want four, it's gonna give you nice four equal slides here. Just click two, it gives us two nice four by five even slides. Now come up to the ratio tool up here, we just wanna do four by five going to give us our parameters, slide it across to the first layout that you want to use, file, export, save for web, or you can click export, this one we're just going to do, hit save, and just do crop one, I'm going to save that to the desktop, now command Z or control Z to go backwards, again do the same thing, click the crop tool, just tap once on the screen to bring up the view and then just slide it across to the other side of the image. File, export, save for web or export as, doesn't really matter. Save and we're just gonna do crop two. Okay, so once you have the photo sent across your phone, just hit new image. Now for the love of God, I have no idea where my photos are going that I just sent across. I've got 10,000 photos on my phone and they did not come up in my recents. So I'm just gonna use a collage that I actually can find um, that I shot recently from the same shoot. Uh, click the left photo first, zoom that out, then click the right little icon that selects uh, multiple images. Set the second one, zoom that out. Third, zoom that out. Fourth, zoom that out as well. Hit next. And then you'll see that the photos actually all start to line up. Next again, I'm not gonna put your caption right now. And then that you'll see that they've all gone across in a nice carousel image. We're being very loud out there. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> 